but I never really went into debt. Now I did notice one boy that went into debt and uh he's not here with us anymore. Mm. Yeah, he owed a half a soup to this guy and uh he took his life. Wow. Half a soup. For half a soup. Half a soup, yeah. Well it was a chili soup. Oh well, I mean that made that's why. I mean he was you pissed. Know? He was like, Hey boy, all I got's chickens. And you took my last chili. Mm-hmm. You didn't even pay me for it. Yeah, that's so. Crazy. Then he cut his head off. It's hard to cut a head off in prison, man. It is. It is. Have, have you, you ever seen this... somebody cut a head off with a spork? No, no. I, I have. I have. I have. It was brutal. I bet it took a while. It was brutal. Yeah, we had chairs and everything. We had pulled up chairs and was just watching. Welcome to Chopping It Up. My name's Eric. Today we'll be interviewing Johnny Mullet, and Johnny Mullet is a fictional character. And, Johnny, what do you think about that? Well, I am a figment of Jamie's imagination. All uh, right. But I was there with Jamie when he did all the dumb stuff that he did. I was there for all that. So I feel like you may have actually been driving. I, I definitely drove more than once. More than once. I'm a good driver, boy. I'm a damn redneck. I drive anything with tires, man. I'll bet. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, man. Shoot, that's what I'm here for, man. Podcast, right? This is a podcast, man. That's, that's right. Damn, man. Anybody got to tell you that? This is questions and answers. This is a podcast. Here. What's the first thing you did when you got out of prison, Johnny? Dang, man. Well, first thing I did was go mudding with a big old girl, and we had lots of fun. I had a little Ford Ranger at the time. It was green. Now, we had a spare saver on the front left tar. And when we got in in this mud pit and we got stuck, I'm lucky she's a big girl because she's in the pasture side. It kept us from sinking in the water. Uh, and when we come out the other side, she fell out the door and I left. All right. That sounds like a lot of fun, Johnny. Now, just, just so our, our listeners know, what is mudding? Mudding. Mudding is when you get in trucks or, or four-wheelers or go-karts or, or a, 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 anything got tires on, man. I actually took a... Uh, uh, one of them fucking forklifts through a mud pit one time. It's still over on Baker Lane, man, down there in the, where all the homeless folk are over. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Down there behind there, everything where everybody used to ride dirt bikes and stuff. We was over at one time. But mud's when you get real muddy. You have a lot of fun in the mud. You get all dirty. That definitely does not sound like Jamie at all. No, man. Well, see, I'm Jamie's alter ego. You know what I'm saying? So- I don't talk right. I don't clean myself often. And Jamie hates it. He hates All right, it. So let me ask you something else. Shut up. What's the worst thing that happened to you in prison? Dang. Well, Eric, the worst thing that happened to me in prison was probably that time them boys took my suits. They stole my suits out of my cell. I had my name written on them. I had Johnny Mullet right there on the side of it with a little mullet drove and everything. Everybody knew it was Johnny Mullet's suits because I seen them in a poker bag. Mm. About a week later. And I went over and I was like, hey, man, I don't care if you're big and black and from Falk gear or not. I want my soups back, boy. And they laughed at me. And, uh, yep, I walked back to my cell pretty embarrassed because uh, I didn't get my soups back, Eric. I, I bet. I'll pretty bet. bad. pretty bad day for old Johnny Muller right there, man. Well. I was hungry that night. I bet you were. Uh, yeah. well, what is the best thing that happened to you in prison? Hmm. The day I got out, man, I had to say, day I got out, went mud, met that fat girl in the Ford Ranger, got the Ford Ranger stuck. Whoa! Love that day, man. It was the best day of my life right there, man. You, you should have come over for that, man. I probably called you that day. You probably in jail. I might have been. I might have been. Okay. Uh, how did you feel when you got out of prison? Mm. 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 Johnny Mullet don't have a whole lot of feelings. Uh, Johnny Mullet feels a lot of anger. Johnny Mullet feels a lot of rage so when johnny muller got out and didn't feel those things after being put in the hole for 24 years because they kept me in the hole for 24 years i mean you know prison years for an alter ego is like dog years oh, okay. yeah okay, so i was in there sense. a lot longer than jamie was you that see what i'm sense. saying because yeah jamie's controlling i'm in the box bro and we're in a box in a box in a box and i'm really in a box so uh after what was you talking about 25 years i did in the hole yeah that, that was deep though that was oh. deep Johnny, did I, I did, make a point? I think you did, and okay. it was it All right. was uh, All right. it was a good one. Johnny Mullet, motherfucker! All right, that's why you used to do in jail. That's why when they come in, they have commissary. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, "Who's first? I'd be like, Johnny Mullet, motherfucker! And then they lock me in my cell, man. That's why I did a lot of time in the hole. Twenty-four years. I'll bet. <laughs>
All right, man. You got any more questions? Dang. I do. I do. Uh, what gave you hope for the future when you were in prison? Hmm. A damn good question there, Eric. That's a pretty good question. Hope for the future. I'll tell you exactly what it was. It was these fit bitters right here. Yeah. And them John right there, everybody likes the pit vipers. <laughs> Ain't got shit on the fit pitters. Timu, them Jones was six ninety nine. So one time me and my girl was on the phone. While we was talking on the phone, she was like, baby, I found you a set of glasses, and they're only four nine nine. I had to order three pairs. So I was super happy about that because I was like, dude, I'm going to get out, and I'm going to have them, them cool-looking glasses like I see them guys have. And now I got them, bro, and I'm super happy about that. I like these microphones, too, man. That red and blue, man. That's America as a motherfucker, America. man. I like that America. shit, man. Fuck yeah. All right. What's the best thing you ate in prison? Best thing, <laughs> best thing I ate in prison. Chicken. Chicken. Are you not taking me serious right now? You want to ask me serious questions, and then you want to laugh at me. Dang, what kind of podcast is this, man? Anyways, it was the chicken All right. because I used to do the little cleaning stuff where they would let, they would let us clean. Mm -hmm. So I was a cleaning guy, and then I got all my guys hired on with me, like all the guys that worked out with mm -hmm. me and stuff. Now, Jamie didn't know nothing about this because he's a pussy. He didn't work out, right? Okay. I had to take over workout time. That's when so you drove. That's when I drove. That's when he let me in the driver's seat, Eric. Yep. So uh, when workout time would come, we'd work out, and then we'd make a big swole at night, right? So we got two trays a piece, and there was four of us. So we'd have eight trays every night, chicken and eggs, throw all that stuff in there, make it biggest biggest peach you ever seen in your life. I believe pretty it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Probably the best stuff. Better than that shit they gave you in there. They get put in the door on them trays, man. Mm -hmm. That's stuff very nasty, man. That's the truth. I mean, now maybe Christmas time you might get something all right. Is but, there anything you miss about prison? Oh, what do I miss about prison, man? Well, there was no mud. There was no women. There's no cigarettes or burr. No. No, I don't think there was anything I missed about prison, Eric. Uh, yeah, that's my answer, and I'm going to stick to it. Okay. Uh, what's the first thing you wanted to eat when you got out and did you? Pussy. All right. And yes. All right. Hell yeah. America! <laughs> All right. Um, this is what I get for jumping around. Holy shit, Eric. Do you know what you're doing? You need me to go. Hey, I Jamie. Think I, I think I asked Jamie, you Jamie, come these. here and take over this podcast. Eric's fucking up. What's the most important thing you learned in prison, Johnny? Ooh, to never get caught with your wiener in your hand when them guards look in the window. What? Yeah, don't do that, man. Them guards come around and look in the window all the time at you, bro. And if you got your wiener in your hand, it's wow. never a good scene. Were you peeing? No. I wouldn't care if they saw me peeing. Well, what were you doing, Johnny? What do you think I was doing, Eric? We don't want to say them horrible words in here, but we're keeping it real. We're keeping it 100. One time I was laying in the bed, and I had my wiener in my hand, and it shined a light right in there, and the shadow of my wiener went right on my face. So I know he's seen my wiener. <laughs> I know he's seen my wiener. I believe it. So, uh, what was his reaction? He just kept it moving. He just kept it moving. But the next day, but the next day when we was at the desk fucking with him, we told him to jingle his keys. I was like, look, bro, when you come across that gym right there and you come into this block, because I was in 2A6, right there on the bottom, right by the phone. When you come through there, jingle your fucking keys, man. Let us know you're coming, man. We might have a starfish hanging out or wiener hanging out or something, man. You might not want to see them things. Right. So I was like, last night when you seen my wiener and that shadow was cast on my face, <laughs> did you like that? He was like, no. I was like, all right then, man. Jingle your damn keys. All right. So uh, there's some rules or so I've been told mm -hmm. about prison. Mm -hmm. Tell me there what you sure think is. of these. Tell me what you think of these. Okay, okay. Never let your feet touch the floor. Oh, hell no. Why? Hell no. Because that's a lot dirtier mud. It's a lot dirtier mud. And there's living things in there, Eric. 
Okay. Living things. They might be microscopic and they swim like this, but they're all over the place. And you don't want none of that stuff on your feet, bro. You don't want none of that. Mm mm. Mm mm. Okay. No, sir. Uh, hey, I go into jail with shire shoes. I go to court with shire shoes on. <laughs> yeah, man. And then when they take me away, I already got my dang shire shoes on, man. Did, did you bring them home from one of your bids? I still got them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm a crocophile now. I don't even like them old shire shoes no more. These do things think, here are comfy. Do you think they'll ever have Crocs in prison? Oh, man, wouldn't that be glorious? Wouldn't that be glorious? Holy smokes, man. You just come up with something right there because they're four-wheel drive. They definitely are. You could lock them suckers in. What do they call it? What, what's uh, that mode they call them? Running when mode. the youngins, when the youngins lock them in there, to four wheel drive or something, turbo or something they call it. That's when you got to pull that thing back right there. It's slide. <clears throat> now they ain't coming off. See, that's the bad thing about shire shoes in prison. Mm -hmm. Okay, you take them things and they're on there like that, and you get in a fight to come off your feet. Right. Okay. So you can lock them things in, son. Yeah, man, that's a hell of an idea, boy. We need to go see about that. Mm -hmm. we'll them be boys be happy. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, I was also told to stay off the phone. What do you yeah, think of man. that? Yeah, man. That phone will get you. That phone will get you. Uh, I've definitely been inside, been inside, and uh, got some bad news on that phone, man. And then I went back to my cell, man. And uh, that was when the guard caught me with my wiener in my hand. You got bad news, and that was your response was to, okay, all right. I'm not judging you. A lot. Um, stay in your lane. What does mm. that mean? Mm. That's a big one, man. That's a big one in the jail, man, because uh, there's a lot of lanes you can get in, man. So you don't you don't want to stay in yours. Like NASCAR. No, man. Them guys right there want to watch that TV all the time, bro. And then on Sundays, I got to come over and be like, you're giving up the TV for NASCAR, boys. We're watching Dale Gordon today. Dale We're definitely going to watch some NASCAR. Dale and Gordon. I <laughs> all right. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real person. <laughs> I think they just had a love child, though, and that's what you created. Dale Gordon, the NASCAR superhero. <laughs> I tried to talk about NASCAR, and I don't know shit. <laughs> but anyways, man... It was either uh What number is Dale Gordon? <laughs> <laughs> 69, man. Number 69, man. He's the best driver out there. Red, white, and blue car, boy. America! Dale Gordon, number 69. Right. Hell yeah, love that guy. Got t-shirts and everything. All right, so uh, also I was told to be careful what you share. What does that mean? Well, one thing about it, man, I tell you. I knew a couple guys in there that got to sharing something they shouldn't have shared, okay? And then when the poop just fell out of his butt when he sat down, he was like, man, I probably shouldn't have shared that. Mm, I see. Um, and it, it was it was really bad thing for him, man. Uh, have you ever seen American History X? Yes. Do you remember the Shire scene? Vaguely. Well, that was the one where them big boys put uh, that big thing in that other guy. Okay. And then he was in the hospital and had to have stitches to, to sew up a hole that was made too big. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's what happened to this guy. That's um, graphic. Not really, man. I mean, I was being really B-rated right I there, know. man. I was I, I was trying to get across there without giving y'all any beepity beep beeps because I hate yep. beeps, man. Yeah. You I got to put them in there, you know what I mean? Uh, you pulled that so, off. So, yeah, man, that was rough, man. The old starfish got tore up, bro. Mm, that's terrible. That was my uh, friend, too, man. He was my friend. His name was crazy. Eric. Oh. What? Just saying. We're not friends. <laughs> okay. I was also told, don't go into debt. Absolutely don't go into debt, man. Don't go into debt at all, man. Why not? Uh, Well, being a broke-ass redneck from a broke-ass county, uh, every time I go in there, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I'm what they call indigent. Mm -hmm. That means I get a bag mm -hmm. with a couple little items in it, like once a month or something. Uh, but I don't write no letters, so I would always sell my stamps off and stuff. But I never really went into debt. Now, I did know this one boy that went into debt, and uh, he's not here with us anymore. Mm. 
Yeah, he owed a half a soup to this guy, and uh, he took his life. Wow. Half a soup. For half a soup. Half a soup, yeah. Well, it was a chili soup. Oh, well, I mean, that makes, that's why. I mean, he was you pissed. Know? He was like, hey, boy, all I got is chickens, and you took my last chili. Mm -hmm. You didn't even pay me for it. Yeah, that's So crazy. then he cut his head off. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how that goes. Yeah, it's hard to cut a head off in prison, man. It is, it is. Have, have you, you ever seen this... somebody cut a head off with a spork? No. No, I, I have. I have. I have. It was brutal. I bet it took a while. It was brutal. Yeah, we had chairs and everything. We had pulled up chairs and was just watching. I bet that guy was working hard. Can we turn that heater off, man? Johnny Mullet hotter than hell yeah, in here, man. Hey, let me get Jamie back over here, y'all. You know, we need to get Jamie. I don't know, Eric. I think you're doing a pretty dang good job, man. I, I like you, man. I like you, man. I'm pretty sure I'm the best that's ever done You it. probably are the best that's ever, never done anything good in your life. I mean. Okay. All right. Watch what you eat. Okay. What does that mean? Watch what you eat, bro. Uh, Well, that would probably include anything on the floor. Okay. So I would take this in a couple different directions. Number one, be careful what you eat when you go in because, uh. It'll mess up your pooper, mess up your little tummy. Your little tummy will yeah. not feel good for a couple of days. Yeah. Nobody likes being in jail with upset tummy. That's the truth. It's not fun. It's not fun. Also, what I would say is uh, back to the feet touching the floor thing, man. Uh, you know, people like to bang their soups up on the floor. Mm -hmm. Break their soups up on the floor. Right there in the same spot where all them little babies mm. and little pubic hairs and stuff are all and then they're just Springs. smashing it up there and there's pubic hairs and mm -hmm. there's little babies and there's a little piece of poop or something in there too and then splashes that come out of the urine. Ugh. All that stuff gets right on their soup bag. Okay. Then they put their soup in a bowl and like my friend Eric was telling me the other day, then they want to take that wrapper and they want to put it over and they just steam all them babies and poopy Ugh. and God. little hairs go right in their soup. You know, I'm actually reminded there was a point in time where I was like making candy. And so I'm making candy at the microwave, and this dude comes up and asks me for a piece. He knows I don't like the guy. You know what I mean? He knows I don't like him, you know, to the point where, you know, I really didn't like What'd him. What'd you do to his candy, man? Man, I rolled that on the floor of the bathroom and gave him a piece. You're a horrible person, man. Yeah, he ate How it. did Jamie ever become friends with somebody like you? Well, I just don't know how he ate the candy. I'm just kidding. That's funny shit. He was probably the same guy that was always waiting on your extra corn. Are uh, yeah. you going to throw that away? Yeah. Yeah, definitely same type yeah, of guy. Yeah, that guy right there. We're going to do a video about them people, man. Them don't stereotypical people, man. I feel to. like I should come back for one of them. Oh, well, you definitely will. All right. You Sweet. definitely will. Sweet. I like this, man. Y'all got monkeys on the wall everywhere, man. Makes me feel right at home. Oh. Uh, um. So... You got more questions, man? I have one more. Excuse me, Johnny Mullen. Why would you want to beware of who you speak to? Man, I tell you who I don't like talking to, man, is them kiddle diddlers, man. Kiddle diddlers. Kiddle diddlers. P diddlers. Kiddle diddlers. P diddlers. I P gotcha. P kiddly diddlers. Yeah. Sorry, I can't pronounce it too good, man. I'm just a dumb redneck, man. But them people that be messing with the kids, bro. Mm -hmm. That's the people I don't want nothing to do with, bro. That's probably a good idea. They're bad, man. They're bad for you, man. They are. And, they and, definitely are. And touching babies and stuff is not normal. So, just saying. Out of curiosity, I'm pretty sure you've had a DUI before. Were you pulled over <laughs> on a of them. lawnmower? 17 of them. 17 DUIs. 17 of them. 15 of them was on John Deere. Wow. Uh, one of them was on a three-wheeled flat tire bicycle. Nice. Yeah, nice. that was that was a pretty good time too. And then the last one that I got was on a creeper. Uh you know what a creeper is, right? Them I, things I that help you slide underneath the car, you lay down, it's got little wheels okay. on it. Okay. Man, I was taking that son of a bitch's sheets to get me some beer. And there's a cop sitting on the corner and they had just changed the speed limit here from twenty five, thirty five to twenty five, excuse me, thirty five mm. to twenty five. And I come down the hill at about thirty eight <laughs> on that creeper. <laughs> And when I tell you that cop was pissed, he was pissed. I'll bet he, he was. He was pissed. He was like, boy, you're doing 13 mile over on a creeper. Well, Johnny, thank you. I, f I think we all just got a little bit smarter for having met you. Man, that's what a lot of people say when they talk to me, man. A mm -hmm. lot of people say that, man. They're like, you're smart, Johnny. You, you are. Like, oh, you are. Thank you. You are abnormally intelligent. Wow, man. That means a lot coming from you, man. I know. What do you think about my glasses? Oh, I think they're stupid, but, you know, we love you anyway.